as much as Joey Bosa was great last year, you didn't get to see it in terms of like the end results. He got had a lot of the dirty work, a lot of the, the stuff that you don't see on paper. But this year, I think you're going to see a very different, similar to Derwin James, in the stat book, like where people make their money, you're going to see a breakout season from Joey Bosa. I'm talking 15 plus sacks minimum. Last year, he got 10 and a half. So essentially, he was responsible for a third of the Chargers' total sacks last year. But what does that tell you, Gary? While being double and triple teamed. Yes. Is insane. Not a lot of good play from the interior of the defensive line. The opposing edge rushers were not doing what they needed to do. Obviously, you couldn't deploy the secondary or the linebackers in a similar way that you normally would have because the defense was just so atrocious when it came to third downs. As much as this is going to help Khalil Mack having Joey Bosa across from him, it's going to help Joey Bosa just as much. A question not too long ago that Joey Bosa and Khalil Mack would combine alone for 30 sacks. You remember that? I think that we got that in the live chat at that time. I do. That's bold by you, but you know what? Screw it. I love it. <laughs> Let's go. Go, Dan. Woo! Okay, Jake, who's next?